Afghan leaders have to come together. We lost thousands of American personnel. They've got to fight for them. In the course of the next few days, we will see uh, the vast bulk of UK embassy staff officials come back and we'll step up our efforts to bring back those Afghans who have helped us, helped the UK, helped international forces throughout the, uh, the last 20 years. And uh, in addition to the, the, the 2,000 who have already come out and to help them, we're sending out uh, another team of Home Office uh, uh, officials to to help them with their, their applications and, and, and get them out. Listen to the president a month ago. Is a Taliban takeover of Afghanistan now inevitable? No, it is not. It's taken just four weeks for that statement to be proved so spectacularly and alarmingly wrong. Been briefed by officials earlier this morning to get the latest developments on the ground. As always, the safety and security of Canadian personnel is our top priority. The current situation poses serious challenges to our ability to ensure that safety and security of our mission. So as of this morning, Canadian diplomatic personnel are on their way back to Canada. We thank them for their tireless efforts to help the people of Afghanistan in their pursuit of democracy, human rights, education, health and security. Our commitment to the people of Afghanistan including women and girls and the LGBTQ2 communities, remains unwavering. And we will honour the sacrifices of Canadians, our armed forces, diplomats, journalists and civil society have made over the past years. Our government has also committed to resettling up to 20,000 Afghans through the ongoing Special Immigration Measures Program. Our ongoing work to bring Afghans to safety in Canada under SIMS remains a top priority, and we will continue to work in close collaboration with partners and allies on this commitment. Ministers Garno, Sajjan, and Mendicino will be continuing this work throughout the coming weeks. Canada firmly condemns the escalating violence, and we are heartbroken at the situation the Afghan people find themselves in today. This is especially so given the sacrifices of Canadians who believed and continue to believe in the future of Afghanistan. We will continue to work with allies and the international community to ensure that those efforts were not in vain. We are committed to Afghanistan. Good afternoon. We start with breaking news this hour. Scientists stress that more research is required, but early findings from Public Health England suggest that vaccines might not be effective in reducing the transmissibility of the Delta variant of Korea. Today, be reaching a milestone of 75% of adults would have had two jabs. And, and this is you know, so important in building that vaccine wall of defence. It's a thing that's helping us to work our way. I am the Home Secretary and I oversee security issues and I've been doing that throughout and that's not, nothing to do in relation to the point that you've made. I've been kept fully updated and on all issues, all incidences, including those types of issues and incidences that don't even reach the public awareness and consciousness, I'm fully sighted and fully aware of everything. Do not come. Do not come. I'm going to come.